You right, everyone, it's Acer here from Romney Custom Catapults, as I'm sure you all know. Uh, I thought I'd do a quick video whilst I have some red wine and tonic water. And yes, you heard me right, red wine and tonic water. It was a drink that was given to me by a Bolivian fella a long time ago in Madrid. And uh, they swore by it, the Bolivians, and I actually do now as well. It's very, very refreshing. Just what you need on a hot summer's day and it has been hot here in the uk today it was hot yesterday and it's going to be hot again tomorrow We're having a little bit of a mini heat wave so it's kind of slowed production up here in the uh the rcc workshop but anyway i've got these builds finished and i'll do this one first this is a pegasus which i'm sure you all know now uh, it's a bit of a different one it's custom dimensions pegasus it's got tweaks here and there to suit it's got convex tips. I believe they're 27 or 25 convex tips uh, in millimetre, that is. A lot of people's going for convex tips at the minute. A couple of pro shots like Chris Graffin and whatnot have said because they fall off, uh, it opens up the field of vision for your target. So, uh, yeah, this fella decided to go with them. Also, because they put a bit more meat there, it allowed me to do quick change slots and tube holes. Now, I've already done a video on the, the actual blank I made for this, but this is it completed, dressed up as I'd like to say. Uh, quick change slots, tube balls, they look very well on this frame. I don't actually have a problem with them. I think they look really, really good. He wanted them because he's a casual shooter and he wanted the options of being able to shoot with tubes. Now, the material is all G10. Uh, yellow G10 liners, various size blue G10 to make up the thickness, and white G10. We've got a mix here of one eighth and quarter and 0.30 liners. Now, whether you've clicked on or not, uh, it's the colour uh, yellow, blue, and white, obviously. But this is going to Cyprus, and obviously, yellow, blue, and white is the colours of the Cypriot flag. He's uh, quite patriotic, and that's how he wanted it. We've got a matching bead. Nice mirror finish all the way over. Holds lovely this frame. I don't really want to grip it. I'd, for some reason, you can. I, I'm one of them people that I think even your skin can crack, scratch a frame. You know what I mean? It, I don't want. It, it's took a long time to get this frame to where it is, and I don't want to risk scratching it in any way. That's the reason why I'm fingering it. So that sounds nice. But uh, yeah, aluminium pins. I'm really, really happy with this one. As I said, the first one with two bowls, quick change slots, it's been a success. Next one. This one's off to San Francisco. Again, a Pegasus. It's a little bit more weighty, this one, I think, due to the brass on it. This is a completely standard Pegasus, standard tips, 27mm, I believe they are. It is white, black, and orange G10, tricolour G10. You've got quarter on there and three eighth. You've got brass pins, brass liners. Yeah, this is a lovely frame. This is a lot nicer than I originally thought it would look. The colour combination is epic. I've used this a little bit recently and I'll be using it again. The orange really, really pops and the brass complemented it perfect. No other colour of G10 or metal would have worked as well. I'm uh, really, really happy with this frame. Again, complete mirror finish. Uh, lanyard hole on this is carbon fibre lined with brass but yeah a lovely frame I'm happy with that and then the last one oh, we don't want to be touching them eh? so we don't want any scratches last one is a custom dimensions shamshir now this one has got tube holes in and quick change slots first time I've put tube holes in in the downsized version of the shamshir the original I done was 100 mil outer. This is 90 mil. This was actually originally designed by RCC shooter Keith Dighton, and it seems to be quite popular. Now it's got the little reference points there for shooting. Bang grooves one side. The tube holes are positioned the same as an SPS because the new owner for this likes shooting SPS, so we made it the same. The materials on this, it's got earth brown G10 liners, and it's also got. I had to bulk it up with some one eighth. They call it gold G10, but when you've scaled it and you've put something over it, it's more like a translucent, mossy green colour than a gold. It shines really well. It's actually worked brilliant on this frame. The outer material is a material called plant stone. It's a resin based stabilised material. It has all types of stuff off of 
the forest floor. It's actually called Magic Forest. It's got moss in there, lichen, bits of bark, bits of twigs, and a lot of glow powders. Now, I'm not going to be able to show you how this glows. You've seen stuff before that I've done that glows in the dark, but this one is by far probably my favourite. The texture of this frame is really, really good. It's been a nightmare to work with, but I'll see if I'll do it slow for the camera to focus. This frame is special. I love this material. Like I say, it was a nightmare to work with, but anything worth doing is going to be hard work. Now, I'm going to put some pictures of this frame and this frame only at the end of this video so you can see what it's like at night time. The other two frames are pretty much, they are what they are, you can see what they are. But this one, as I said, I'm not going to include pictures of the others because there'll be too many pictures to, to put on, but pictures of this will go on. Uh, if you want to see more pictures, then just go on my Facebook page or Instagram and you'll see a lot more. I'm also on the Slingshot uh, community forum as well, where I'll upload pictures later on. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with this one. Even the lanyard blade glows up. The person that bought this off me gave me free reign to do what I want, which is what I like, to be honest with you. A lot of people's doing that with me recently. They're, they're literally asking me how much and saying you do whatever you feel. And... Uh, that's the way I like it. I always come up with better stuff if I can do that. But No, very, very happy with this sham shear. Very, very happy with this stock Pegasus. And very, very happy with this custom Pegasus. I've got another Pegasus and sham shear to do this week. And then I've got a couple of team builds to do next week. But uh, yeah, busy, 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 which is all good. In total, with these frames, I would say there's been about 60 hours work in these three frames. Uh, and 21 hours, I'd say, at least 21 hours, has been sanding. Um, my thumb on my left hand is obliterated from uh, the sanding and uh, it needs a couple of days work which i'm going to give it but uh, i'll be back soon some more shooting videos some little trick shots and whatnot hope you all have a cracking evening and i will catch you all soon ciao for now